Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. Today, I thought it would be a good idea to pull out the electric cockroach bike. So, uh, as you know, it got stripped down and the controller and batteries and the handlebars got taken out for the electric uh, battery. Which, oh, I just whipped the cover off here guys so that you can see this. So this is, oh, it's a bit messy in here, but yeah, this is the trike, and uh, it is in my other video, so I used the alternator that was off the electric cockroach, and um, yeah, and some batteries and stuff, and uh, the batteries are under here in the box. I think all up, it, it was about $700 worth of batteries, half of them have been taken out for the other uh, alternator lowrider bike at this point, until I can buy another six more they're fifty dollars each 12 volt 9 amp hour batteries and as you can see i've put them all in series the n2 here are in series for the mag uh to power up the mag and that's on a separate just off and on switch i have actually put a controller between that like a dc controller um 350 watt one at 24 volts and um instead of a throttle i had a a, um, a volume control and it worked out really good so we've already got a world's record on this it topped out at about 70 k's and we also have another world's record coming up on the other alternator lowrider guys so without further ado do let's go and have a look at the electric cockroach and see what's left Whew. So yeah guys, so we, as you know, we have Nemo, I call this alternator Nemo, it came out of a truck, it used to run a sludge pump at the back, but I've ground it all off and just made it a plate, it runs a bushing, not a bearing in the back, and so it runs a pretty big bearing in the front, so what I wanted to do guys, is try and put a sprocket on there, so the best way to do that is to have a look at the pulley, and this this uh is a tapered shaft and it had a keyway in it right there so when this slid on you see the keyway inside so it slides on nicely and doesn't move around it moves the shaft and then you put the bolt on or the nut rather not the bolt so anyways, what I want to do is I want to take this off, but still use the center tapered part inside. Now these aren't two separate pieces, this is all one mold cast. And what this had on it beforehand, guys, which was pretty hard to take off, was this here, which was the fan. It sort of was in there like that and helped cool down the alternator. When it was an alternator, it's reconverted as a motor. These two are straight to the brushes powers you put 12 volts or 24 volts to that powers up the center coil and this one here is straight to the outside field wires the three wires that come off the outside wiring in here as you all know anyways guys so what i gotta do here is you see this recessed piece that's in here you can see that this here nearly fits on here now this went that way so we want the sprocket to be the other way, more, more that way, <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is we know that this nearly fits in here, I just got to get the grindstone, grind those little tips down a little bit, so it fits in there perfectly, now I'm going to find something that's perfectly round, that fits in the inside of here, and then I'll as soon as I found that, I'll use that as my template. I'm sure it's smack bang in the middle of all these holes. And then I've got to try and get the cutting disc and chop it off pretty rough. And then try and round it off. So that when I put this on here, it will go all the way to 
we'll go all the way into about here if you can see that and then I'll leave this one on and this can act like a chain guide it can act like a chain guide when it goes back in so the chain can't pop off the other way so yeah guys so that's what I'm up to the poor old cockroach as you can see guys the chain was riding so close to the wheel it actually nearly ate through the tire look at that so some of the things I got to do is space this sprocket out a little bit it is tricky because it's a wheel that I made out of a, a speaker actually the whole center part was out of a woofer and um I, it took me a long time to grind it down and use the back plate I think it was a fusion woofer back plate that I used magnet back plate so um it fitted really well and this is the battery box um i'm just gonna make this 48 volts back to 48 volts i can up it to 72 we'll see how we go but i'm dying to see how fast nemo will go on there it's a 90 amp alternator um no 110 amp alternator truck alternator um and you can power up the center to up to 24 volts make it really strong in the beginning for takeoffs which is really cool so a lot of the stuff that i've been going through guys is donor bike here donor bike here i've been ripping these things apart taking off all of the goosenecks all of that and then i thought no i won't use those and i'll just go with this one looks nicer for a start so one of the things i got to do is build all the handlebars again and um try and fit nemo in here into these brackets guys most of the bracketry is there here and here and here i just have to reshape it i have to reshape it for it to fit in there properly because some of this is getting in the way of the top bar when it's going in it's a little bit bigger this one than the one that was in there last but yeah these are mobility scooter tires are really good four ply strong tires they can handle high speeds anyways guys <laughs> awesome stuff my poor old bike i was going to turn it into a trike guys and actually say to you um it was a people's choice whether i should put the alternator on here or the washing machine motor and turn it into a trike with the washing machine motor and use the front wheels off the ride-on lawnmower but when i went over to the ride-on lawnmower i found that it was just too hard to do unless i had a full axle going through there and just decked it out like a go-kart back end on this thing but once again it's too much weight and strain for the motor so it's better as a bike so i can't wait to get this thing going guys i'll keep you updated on it we're doing another world's record on the other one soon we're gonna up the power on it see if we can get past 70ks on it hoping for 75 at least awesome stuff guys cool cool big hi to all my new subscribers thanks for watching guys glad you just find this stuff interesting <laughs> So made a new lithium ion pack for this which is the weed whacker it had this big block in there and it's a bit too hard to carry around this here is the front fan out of a car and i whipped off all the fan off it and just put those on there it works real good now it's super light i put a trigger out of a drill on here look at this i'm picking this thing up with one hand guys look at this it's 18 volts at 40 amp hours yeah make short work of it now it's real good doesn't weigh me down much lighter cool cool guys awesome stuff cruiser man out guys